What's going on, everybody? This is Shane Thomas, ready to show you another country classic on the acoustic guitar. This time, this video, we got one of my favorite songs of all time and one of my favorite songs to play. And that is Dixieland Delight by the super group Alabama. What a just classic song, classic song. I, and I can't wait to show it to you. So let, let's get going. Let's, uh, Let's give you a little background first. This thing was recorded in 1982, came out in 1983, off the Closer You Get album from Alabama. It became Alabama's ninth number one hit. And as we know, there was many more hits to come from that group. One of my favorite bands of all time. I love their songs. I just love them. And uh, this is right up there, this song here. It was written by Ronnie Rogers, who... Um, also helped write uh, Jukebox in My Mind with Alabama or for Alabama uh, and other hits for other artists too. But my goodness, it's hard to top this song. This is a, uh, if you're going to be known for a song, this one's, this one's certainly one to be proud of. It's also the, the uh, I don't know if you call it fight song or theme song of the University of Alabama. A football team they play at at their football games uh, so if you're a Roll Tide fan you're you're very familiar with this song and for those that might be watching from around the world not a, familiar with American college football Alabama's <laughs> they're, they're bad they are like top of the heap dominating uh, so really good football team uh, historically one of the best uh, so if you're an Alabama fan, you are very familiar with this song. If you're not an Alabama football fan, hopefully you're an Alabama country music band fan and a fan of this song. So let's get going. Even the intro, if you just stopped at the intro, that would be a heck of a fun song to know how to play. And so let's start with that, all right? It's in the key of G. So G is third fret. Sixth string, press down with a finger there, then press down the fifth string, second fret, play the second, third, and fourth string open, but make sure you hit that note right there. That's a G note right there on the first string, third fret. Strum all those strings. Play all those strings of that chord. That's a G. I just like some down strokes. Then you get down, up, down, up. That's pretty much a strumming pattern. Now there's gonna be a different section of this song, which uh, I'll show you how to play, of course, but we might switch up the strumming pattern there. When that fiddle kicks in, the fiddle solo, we'll get to all that. Even the key change. So th this video might be end up being kind of long. Here we go. G. And check out the chord diagrams for all these chords that we're making. This might be one of the easier chords that we make of this song. I think the strumming pattern is super important. You gotta get that groove. I remember watching this video. Randy Owen in that pickup truck, uh, getting ready to pick up his Dixieland Delight. Had that little vest on, life preserver looking vest on. Even the video is classic. All right, I digress. Let's get back to it. D is our next chord. So D is second fret, first string. Put that middle finger there. Skip a string, put that first finger on the third string, second fret. Put your ring finger in between those on the third fret, second string. Strum down with the four string on that. Now, when you're picking or strumming it, I like putting that that uh, A note, which is your fifth string open, alternate. I like that. You don't have to do that probably, but I, I like it. I think it adds to it. So, so far we got G. G, D. Hear that? You hear that? I'm alternating the bass notes there. Down, down, down. 
So G and D so far for the intro. There's our next chord, E minor. Very, very easy chord. Just want to make sure you put a finger down or two fingers down on the fourth and fifth string of the second fret. Everything else is open. Open kind of like my collar. Let me button that up. There we go. Sorry about that. So, so far we got intro wise. C. C is our next chord. Check out the chord diagrams, of course. C starts right here on the second string, first fret. Skip a string. Press your middle finger down on the fourth string, second fret. Put your ring finger on the fifth string, third fret. Strum down. Fifth string on down. And you play the third string open and the first string open. C. This intro is taking a while, but it, it is so much worth it. Trust me. I play it all the time. I play it at camps, at, at, around the fire, when I'm camping by the lake, on the front porch, on my couch. Just so much to play, or so much fun to play. G. D. E minor. Now, when you're on the C, if you're just learning, just stick right there, right? But if you want to, if you want to add that, it's basically a hammer on right here on the um, fourth string, second fret. I basically just play that open, and then press down fourth string, second fret, and play the third string open. So it's kind of hard to see when I'm when I'm playing the chord here, but I just take my middle finger off. Open fourth string, second fret fourth string, open third string. Here's how it sounds when you're actually playing. E minor, C. Back to G. D. Now, instead of going to E minor, we're gonna go to C minor. So C minor is third fret. It's a bar chord. Now get used to that because when we do this key change, there's going to be several bar chords that we're going to play. Uh, put that first finger right there on the third fret. Middle finger goes right there, third fret, fifth string on down. Then you put the middle finger on the fourth fret, second string. Put your ring finger and your pinky on the third and fourth strings of the fifth fret. So that's C minor. Now, in the intro part, they actually, there's two parts to this. So that's C minor. Then just take off your middle finger, which means you're gonna be playing the second um, string. So basically I was right here. I'm gonna play the second string on the third fret so that that might be too technical the easy way to do it is you're playing the c minor right here just take off your middle finger and back to g so here's how it sounds so far g d e minor c g to C minor, C minor, middle finger off, back to G. And we got one more little trick, little uh, accent to put on this intro, then we're done with the intro, then we can start singing. And that is simply what they call a harmonic. So if we go to our 12th fret, most guitars, you have two dots right there uh, that signify the 12th fret, it means you're starting a new octave basically. And if you just simply put a finger lightly, it's kind of hard to, let me see if I, this angle shows it a little better. What I'm not pressing down, right? If I, that's pressing down. 
you just find that little metal piece right there on the 12th fret and you lightly put your finger on it and that creates a harmonic it can used in a lot of songs it almost sounds like a wind chime or a doorbell or something very very cool effect right so basically you just take a finger on the 12th fret and just play the little harmonic I think it's on the second third and fourth strings right there so here's how here's how the whole entire intro goes and then we'll have the intro down right G D E minor C minor, middle finger off, harmonic. Well, I, I should should have had a G in there. G now harmonic. There we go. That's how you play the intro to Dixie Land Delight. Now let's learn the first verse. Now that we learned that classic intro and such a fun piece of music to play on the acoustic guitar, the intro to Dixieland Delight, let's learn the verse, right? Very, very simple. It won't take too long because we know all the chords already. So let's just kind of run through this real quick. G, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Remember that? Get that trumpet pattern. Rolling down backwoods, G, Tennessee by way, D, E minor, one arm on with C, hold my lover, G, with the other, a sweet song, E minor, three, C. All right, so that's basically almost like the intro, right? A lot of the chords are the same. Now, instead of going back to the G, we want to go, we're taught all week to E minor, got a little G, go to D, on up back to E minor, Tennessee Saturday night, C, couldn't feel better, G, I'm together, D, now just like the intro, we're going to C minor, with my Dixie Land Delight, G, alright, so pretty much that's the verses. All the chords are pretty much the same as the intro, except, you know, we go from the E minor to D. That's a little different, just at one little part there. But that's how you play the first verse. Then it goes into the chorus. So that's the spin my dollar part. So we're taught all week. Got a little jingle on a Tennessee Saturday night. See, couldn't feel better. G, I'm together. D, with my Dixie land delight. Now, I just wanted to lead up to it to show you where we're at. Spend my dollar, D, popped in a hollow neat mountain moonlight. So that D, spend my dollar. Parked in a E minor, neath the mountain moonlight seat. Hold her up tight, G. Make a little loving, D. Little turtle doving on a Mason Dixon night, C. It's my life, or fits my life. Oh, so right. So E minor to C, just like the intro with my Dixie land. The light. So C minor. And if you want to pull off the middle finger again, you can. G. And that's how you play the first verse. Then it goes into uh, the guitar solo. That kind of thing. If you want to learn how to the guitar solo, 
leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll make a video separately for that. Not everybody might not be interested in learning the guitar solo. Uh, and especially you have to play it on the electric guitar to make it just sound just like the record. But if you want to learn how to play the guitar solo, leave a comment in the uh, comment section below requesting, hey Shane, show me how to play that electric guitar solo to Dixieland Delight, and I will. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, we're just going to learn the chords. But that's the section right there, right? So you're just strumming along. Then they go up an octave back to C. Then D. Just like the end of the intro. Right? So while you're while they're playing that guitar solo, you're just playing G D E minor C G D C minor. Then G. Then that harmonic again. And then you go into verse two. All right. White tail buck did G. Marching on clover D. Red tail hawk E minor. Sitting on the limb. Chubby old ground hog G. Broken bullfrog. E minor free as a feeling in the wind. Homegrown country girl E minor. Gonna give me the world. Heck yeah. On a tennis E minor, C Saturday night. Look, look at 7G, living in heaven. C minor, Dixie Land Light. You, now, that's verse 2. Then we just simply go to uh, the next chorus, which is the same, right? Spend my dollar. Parked in a holiday. So that's just like the same, right? As we did already. Uh, so you just repeat the chorus, and I, I don't, I, I don't go, I won't go through it all because, uh, for the sake of time, because I know this is going to be a long video, regardless. But what I after the second chorus, the spend my dollar parked in a holler neath the mountain moonlight. That section. We are going to go into a total, it's almost like a totally different song. Yeah, they're going to use the same words and stuff, but the chords are totally different. And, so, and that's what I want to show you next. All right, now that we've learned the intro, now that we learned the first verse and the chorus and the second verse, or before that, what we do, you know, the strumming pattern that we do as their guitar solo. Then verse two, the white tail buck deer verse. Then the spin my dollar, that chorus again, we just repeat the chorus. Now it gets a little different. Now you're gonna have a fiddle solo and they're gonna have a key change. Now, when you have a key change, basically on one hand, it's pretty simple. On the other hand, you gotta learn other chords. Now, if you're playing by yourself or if you're in a band, you don't have to do the key change, right? I'm just looking at it from a perspective. If you wanna play along with the record, this is how you match it up and these are the chords. So we just ended with um, the second chords, right? But now they go into this uh, little bridge interlude, if you want to call it that. And basically it's this. So that's, now bear with me because not everybody likes these bar chords. But if you, if you come up here on the sixth fret, and you press down with your first finger, almost like you did with the C minor. You just slide that first finger up to the sixth fret, all right? Fifth string on down. Then what you wanna do with your ring finger on the second, third, and fourth strings, press down on the eighth fret. That's an E flat, E flat major chord right there. All right, now that's the hardest part because watch this. 
we basically just slide up frets. So I'm on six and eight right here. That's E flat. Now I'm on eight and 10. Now 10 and 12. So that's basically E flat, F, G. So you just do that, I think it's just one time. Then what you want to do is come down here and play an F chord, F bar chord. So F bar chord, first finger on all the strings of the first fret. Then put your middle finger on the third string, second fret. Ring finger and pinky goes on the third fret, fourth and fifth strings. Okay, so that's F. Now, you can slide up if you really want to sound like the recording. Again, just like we slid up, our, our finger position didn't move. We're just sliding up fret. Same thing right here. And that's the beauty of bar chords or power chords or whatever you want to call them. Look, once, the hardest part is getting your finger used to making these positions. Once you do, you don't have to, you just slide up and down the neck, right? Uh, and it makes different chords. It's really good. The hardest part is getting your fingers used to it. So F, so on the first, second, and third frets is where the F is. If you simply move that position up, you're going to make a G. And then it, so that was the third, fourth, and fifth fret. It makes that G right there. If I slide up to the fifth, sixth, and seventh fret, that's an A chord. Now, if you're not comfortable with bar chords, you can actually F, G, A if you want to play open, because we already know those, kind of. Uh, except the A chord, I don't think I showed you, but real quick, A chord is second fret, second, third, and fourth string on the second fret, strum down, fifth string on down, play the fifth string open, and the first string open. So. That's if you play the bar chords, F, G, and A. If you don't want to play the bar chords, you just F, G, and A. And so here's that section uh, kind of in its entirety. E flat, F, G. Then you just do that one time. I think they double it up like this. So F, G, A. And they just do that. Then the fiddle kicks in now. Like I said early on in this video, the strumming pattern is probably going to change because the tempo picks up when that fiddle starts going. So you play the A chord. E. F sharp minor. D. All right, now I got to show you all that. You know the D. You know the A, let's learn the E and F sharp minor. E is first finger on the third string, first fret. Put your middle and ring finger on the fourth and fifth string of the second fret. Strum all the strings, that's an open E. F sharp minor is just like you played the F right here on that, that bar chord we learned. Well, if you just simply Slide it up one fret to where your first finger's on the second fret and your, your ring finger and pinky's on the fourth fret. This time we want to get rid of the, uh, well, don't get rid of it. We want to keep our middle finger. Might have to use it someday. But you just, instead of, that's what makes it a minor, right? If, if I played this, that's an F sharp major. Simply take your middle finger off. That's an F sharp minor. Check out the chord diagram. So when that fiddle kicks in, it's just dun 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 A, E, F sharp minor, D. See how that works? So we just simply changed keys. We just went up one whole step from G 
to A. They just kind of do a key change. So A, E, F sharp minor, D. Do it again. A, E, F sharp minor, D. Now, as that fiddle's playing, you want to go back to F sharp minor, not back to A. F sharp minor key. F sharp minor to D. Hopefully that ain't too confusing. So let's let, let me do it one more time and and hopefully you get that part. If you don't want, like I said, if you don't want to do the key change, well then good, you got the whole song, basically. Uh, just do without it. But if you want to learn the, the key change, E flat, F, G. Just slide, same finger position, you just slide up from six to eight, eight to 10, 10 to 12. And then you go F sharp, or excuse me, F major, G, A. Or you could play F, open G, that we learned, A. And you just do that a couple times, then the fiddle kicks in. Da -da 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 A to E. F sharp minor to D. Let's do it again. E. F sharp minor to D. Now we're going to change it up. Go back to F sharp minor. Is that E? Back to F sharp minor. D. Now to A. F. D. A. Let's repeat that chorus one more time. How about it? Now, we're in a key change. So we're, we're going to spin my dollar part, but we, remember, we made the key change, and we have to use new chords. Spin my dollar, E. Parked in a holler, F sharp minor. In a mountain moonlight, D. Hold her up tight, A. Make a little loving, E. Little turtle dovin, F sharp minor, D. It's my life, it's my life, F sharp minor, oh, so right. All right, D, now, the fact that we're in the key change, we usually end the chorus with that C minor. But remember, we moved up one whole step. So for those of you that know the alphabet out there, what's the next letter after C? Because this is where we played that C minor. But we moved up one whole step, so one letter, whole letter after C is D. So basically, fits my life. Whoa, so right. D minor with my dick C land light. Back to A. And then they do the fiddle again. <laughs> F sharp minor, E, F sharp minor, D, now back to A, A, E, D minor, A, now, rolling down backwards, still strumming, now remember I said, I don't think I explained it, but when you make that key change and the fiddle kicks in, your tempo picks up big time. So you're strumming pad. Yeah. See how that's a lot faster? It's a lot faster then. 
I, I have a theory about that. We started out the song like that. Randy, or you put yourself in that position, whoever's going to pick up their, their pretty lady for a little Dixieland delight, picking up their Dixieland delight, they're going to have a little fun, right? Well, what my theory is when that fiddle kicks in, that pretty lady's in that truck or that vehicle, and he's hauling you know what to go have some fun. So the fiddle picks up. That's my theory. I don't. I can't prove that, but I know that adrenaline, the the hormones were speeding up, the truck was speeding up, so the tempo of the songs speeding up with Dixieland Delight. That's how you play it. Hopefully this video wasn't too confusing. The song is very simple. It's just the fact that they added the key change, which adds all kinds of other chords to the uh, song. If you just sit around and mind your own business, you're just doing that, people didn't know you knew how to play guitar, they're gonna be like, Even if you just learned that, you're going to have a lot of friends, make a lot of people happy. You're going to make yourself happy because uh, it's one of the best country songs ever, in my opinion. Again, came out in 19, 1983, excuse me. Uh, it was a big hit for Alabama. It's one of their most signature songs. And you talk about the career of, of Supergroup Alabama, all those hits and songs they got, this is one of their most popular ones. And so thank you to Ronnie Rogers for writing this classic this epic song hopefully this guitar tutorial has i know it's long but hopefully you take it in sections you just take your time learn how to do it because believe me once you learn how to play it you're going to have so many good memories and and just it's so fun to play and to sing and it's great i can't i can't say that enough so if you like this video Go ahead and hit that like button if you stuck around this long. Hit that subscribe button if you want to learn a bunch of country songs. Y'all keep humming and strumming, all right? I'm Shane Thomas. You all take care. Rolling down backwards, Tennessee Byway. One arm on the wheel. Oh, my love.